Wesley with Expand the Craft again. I'm going to show you just one more step in the process of building an Expand the Craft custom made boat. Uh, we start off with, a, on a, with our risers with a blank. Now the blank doesn't come with all of this. We have to chip the edges and route the edges of course here. We use this tool for routing the edge. We use this tool for making the hole where it goes and then it comes over here to a jig. Now if you'll come around this way, I'll show you how this goes. We have a spacer. What we do is line it up like so. Clamp it in place. Now this is starboard. Starboard is a marine grade plywood. And I use this Wagner. What I do is I basically I heat it up on this side, then I heat it up on that side, I heat it up on this side again. Now I add this block to help contain the heat. I'm containing the heat, and it takes about three minutes on each side. So this video is going to be about another three minutes long or so, and um, I'll show you what we do. You have to get the plastic to a certain temperature but you can't melt it. If you don't get it hot enough, it'll crack when you try to bend it 90 degrees. If you get it too hot, it'll mush and it'll become too thin at the 90 degree angle. So you have to get it just right. Well, how do you get it just right, you ask? Why, I'm glad you said that. Um, practice, practice, practice. I've messed up a few in my time. Uh, these jigs, these metal jigs, uh, they cost me about 90 bucks a piece. And um, so if you're thinking of making your own, it'll probably cost you more to make the jig than it would be to just buy a new set from me. And uh, they also come with you know, a little experience behind them. So that uh, you can rest assured that they're they're going to be tough. They'll take the abuse of pretty much whatever you can throw at them. And Wes, what are the specs on the high riser versus the low riser? Well, the high riser is about two inches higher than the low riser. The high riser does give more flex. It, it gets you two inches up out of the water more than the low risers. Um, I think that the only reason to have the high risers is if you're in areas that's got a lot of um, choppy water and you need to keep your deck completely dry. The low risers, they seem to do the trick for, for most anything that you want to be out there in. But then again, there's people like me who will take their craft out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico during a storm just to test to see how much it'll take. In that case, I use the high risers. Um, if you go through my YouTube videos, uh, I made a 21 footer, 8 feet wide, with all high risers. There's a triple haul boat. That's the one I put the uh, 3.5 horsepower motor on, and a tent, and all kinds of fishing gear, and a swivel seat. It was, it's like a pontoon boat. It's just something you can take apart and put in the back of a pickup um, because of the being modular and um, we took it out in the Gulf of Mexico right at a, a place where the waves just got crazy coming from all different directions right it, because it's a channel yeah it was a channel and we had wind over wave or, or wind over the tide so the, 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 the waves were steep and confused but lots of fun but it was a non-event the boat just stayed put. Of course people thought I was crazy taking that little boat out there in these waves that you know boats with big haul you know gunnels especially like an eight foot wide motorboat is rocking like this. The center of gravity on my uh, expander craft is so low there's no chance of it being tipped over. Uh, you can get washed off if you get a cresting wave over the whole thing and you get your body into that wave. 
luckily the seats are high enough the wave just washes over your feet even so, in that sense. So that's a good point. If you didn't have any risers on the boat and you were going through big waves, it you would still be okay, but you just get a lot of water over the deck. Yeah, but you really don't want that. I mean, that should be like a rare event. That should be this like, holy crap, we should be running for home right now. You don't take any boat out in water like that, um, you know, if you're reasonable. The fact is we spend, uh, we spend a lot of energy trying to make these boats capable of more than most people are ever going to put them through. So the Expander Craft is a tough boat. These, these things are tough, this uh, starboard. And if you put multiple cross beams, multiple risers on that, now I'm going to check this. Oh yeah, it seems to be nice and juicy here. I'm going to turn it. Put the clamp down. Takes a good bit of force. And I'm going to put a little more heat to it to set it. That's pretty much it. I repeat it on the other side. And uh, that's how long it takes to make half of one of these, minus all the other processes that goes into making a riser. Expandacraft.com. This is how much love we put into each and every one of our parts and components. And